Hello everybody, welcome back to Into the Breach. Last time we had a very successful conclusion to our Flame Behemoths run. And now it's time to get really achievement hunting. For instance, hey look, it's the Zenith Guard. They have zero wins, really, and absolutely none of their bonuses. These guys are prime. Prime! For some of this uh, nonsense that we need. We need another 15 coins, by the way. So like another 15 achievements I think we need to complete in order to get to this secret squad. And the Zenith Guard are in for it. So we're going to aim for a three medal, uh, three uh, victory medal. Three islands, at least. Uh, let's see. Kill an enemy by pulling into yourself. Get over here style. Okay. Killing four enemies with a single laser. Fine. Block damage the shield four times in a single battle. Tough, but doable. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and equip our colors. That's right. A wolf of red and a wolf of gold. Uh, and then Chen. Where are we putting Chen? Honestly, with the extra movement that you're going to need... Chen's like... You know what, we're going to stick Chen in the uh, defense mech for now. Just so that way we got that extra little bit of mech reactor. It might give us uh, an extra bonus. Look, it doesn't matter. We'll be able to switch that out as soon as we start this mission properly anyway. So I'm not too worried about it no matter what happens. Um, let's see, what do we have? What can we use? We can't use it with anything other than extra HP. You know what, fine. Extra HP it is. I will run up to people and I will melee their butts in. I will get that one achievement if it kills me. Now, with that said, uh, we do have Laser Man. Laser Man means we want to have as few tough units as possible. Um, so we can go ahead and just laser and kill everything. And honestly, this looks like a potentially useful way to do things. RST Corporation is a definite possible start. Honestly, it's one of the best possible starts we've got here. So, despite this having two 2 HP units, we're not there yet. No, sir. Instead, RSD Corporation it is. Boom. I like this idea. You want to know how much I like this idea? I like the idea so much I clicked it. That's right. Mm. Destroy two mountains ain't happening. Uh, I mean, it might happen, but it's just not super likely, given that the mountains that are currently breakable... I mean, the mountains that are currently breakable are breakable over the course of a match fairly naturally. I'm just a little worried about it. Um, kill at least seven enemies? Not easiest. Defend the terraformer. This, this is a good starting mission. I uh, got some power grid. Terraforming is an easy way to get some kills. Yeah, we're doing this. Now, with that said, let's set up a kill potential here. Let's set up some kill potential here. Let's keep our defense mech in the back where she belongs. And let's see what happens. Oh, and we got a time pod. Okay, so this mission is tough, just to say the least. I very much enjoy it if they would all heck the heck off for a second all right there's a lot of issues with this mission as it stands for one i can't terraform here unless if i decide everybody needs to die I'd rather not you need to be blocked you need to be dealt with okay look i think i can deal with you this turn with the terraformer that's fine but this this guy needs to be seriously dealt with um, if we move up here and then blast, it will get a kill. It's certainly not a bad plan. The problem then is this guy. Uh, let's see, how do I get the, hold on, which achievement is it? Kill an enemy by pulling it into yourself. In case we need to get the kill ourselves, that's okay. You deal one damage, you can shove it into them and deal the extra damage, then we can get this guy to move over here and then do the pull for the last hit of damage. Okay, so that's definitely the way we're going to do things here, except... Small problem. See this ass hat? He's still alive at the end of all this. Ay, 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 ay. Um, here's another idea. And honestly, it's just a thought. What would happen if I shielded this thing? <laughs> like, if I just shielded this, got the Leaper to not damage it, that wouldn't be a terrible plan. Uh, we'd go over here. Get a kill on this Scion first. Now, how much damage do you do with this charge? Two damage. Then you take one in return as well, yeah? Yeah, which means that we want to shield you whenever possible. Okay. But you do deal two damage. Here's an idea. We can go ahead and do this. Get the kill to start with. And it'll hurt the terraformer for one. Because he'll blow up, right? Right, fine. 
Then we take this dude. Move all the way over here. Charge this sign from across the map and murder it. With the way open, I'll move over here, kill off this guy, and finally we'll shield the terraformer from any further damage that would, the Leaper would end up dealing here. It's not the world's worst plan. It's just not the world's greatest plan. Um, we're going to do it, though. So that's going to deal one damage here. We knew that was going to happen. Except for this freaking cloud from hell. Never mind reset the turn. It's, it's bungled everything. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I just realized how high my gain was. I apologize in advance. We must have been peaking the whole time. Um, okay. The other option is we just charge him. Laser down, killing both. Hmm. My problem here is that I'd really rather not use the shield to have to protect this guy to just do damage. It's the obviously easy way to move things around, but you know what? Here, let's be smart. Except you can't be smart. Except you can be. Yeah, okay. No, why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> Problem solved? Okay. Move over here. Blast the Scion. Right? Right? Uh, terraform this guy into the ground. And then what do I do with you? Honestly, I'm going to just block a spine. Blocking one spawn is fine. Now, since you're still here, let's go ahead and back off with that bonus movement speed. And then, uh, yeah, that's it for me, thanks. So, uh, this guy will kill his friend, no problem. We only have to deal with two things this round. Should be easy enough. Um, could you not? Okay, so here's the obvious easy start. We murder this thing. Right? Right. The second easy thing is to move over here and get the charge off. Now, this causes some problems that ideally I'd like to avoid. Um, so, what I'm going to do instead is pop over here, hand a shield over. Should have done that different. I just realized I could have done that to the terraformer, it would have been all good. And you know what? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to repair. I'm going to take the shot from this Firefly. And I'm going to go ahead and just terraform this entire region here. Now, the reason why I'm terraforming this region here is because uh, the next turn, I'm expecting some of these guys, like some of these dudes, to try to attack our buildings here. I would like to be able to terraform, destroy that nonsense, uh, if at all possible. Now, Chen can still move this turn. I like to go ahead and give myself the benefit of a doubt and move... Uh, here, so I don't get leapt upon and murdered, or leapt upon and stuck in a bad spot. So we got a Hornet, a Leaper, and another Hornet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I know exactly where we're terraforming. I want to make this abundantly clear. Anybody that knows anything about this game immediately just does this. <laughs> and suddenly things are still easy. Now, you're still alive, but you're very dealable with it. You've got 3 HP. You know what? Maybe it's time you sat here. With two turns left. Yeah, we're gonna do this. But before we do that. Beep, 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 beep. Just do that, move out of the way. Now you get the charge. Okay, great. We're blocking all their spawns for next turn. Alright, and on our last turn. Move back, repair, move back, repair, move back. Terraform. And voila! That was the world's easiest mission. I mean, obviously not. We kind of hemmed and hawed over that first move for a very long time, but I'll take it for what it's worth. We still got a perfect mission despite having a time pod show up at exactly the wrong freaking time. I'll take it though, because it comes with reactor core and Gemini missiles. We have no means of using the Gemini missiles, that's the problem. We have no artillery class. 
So that's going to be an expensive way to do things. I have a feeling we're not going to use it. Um, honestly? Okay, honestly, the shield projector is fantastic if we use it properly. I can't really figure out a way to use it right now. But having an area of effect on this would be great. Like, honestly, it, upping the defense mech would be a good move. It's just obvious for me that our two main damage dealers need something more in order to be effective. Um, for now, I'm going to have to rely on the charge mech to get shielded, I think, a little bit more often. I would like to have ally immunity on these lasers. That would be very handy for us. Um... It still doesn't work on buildings if I do that, though, so undo. It might be safer instead if we go ahead and make our charge mech have 5 HP. The other idea is that we take out the pilot for the charge mech and just have an AI droid run around. But, you know what? 5 HP means that we can slam every turn without having to worry about it too much. Uh, with that said, now looking at this, killing 7 enemies should be fairly simply doable. It's just a matter of being safe about it. Um... But how do we want to do this? What are the last three missions we want to have up? If we're being, like, if we're being very keen, we should go after this one next. And then work our way around. Getting all the corporate rep we can, giving us more than enough to be able to buy the reactor cores necessary to get, like, some serious damage ups. But if we're going to do that, hold on. But if we're going to end up doing this uh, shield mastery, blocking damage to the shield four times in a single battle, yeah, we're going to we're gonna need to play that one pretty aggressively if we want to make that one work. Um, you know what, nah. Install it, get the HP, be safe, be smart, go for RST Quake Fence. We can do this, I have to believe. So they've got a Scion, they've got a Hornet. I would like to bait both of them into a line. It's going to be a little bit difficult, I think, but it's doable. Uh, charge mech will take the left flank here, and we'll keep our shield mech with our charge mech, simply because we need the shield to keep the charge mech happy and healthy, I think. Alright, okay. I sense problems here. Here's an idea. Let's go and shield these two things. Then we move here. We blast. Right? That looks bad. But watch this. Then we charge this dude away. And suddenly, we're not only doing that, but we're destroying a mountain on top of everything else. The Scion's still alive, which is an issue, of course, but... That's one mountain down. And we've already killed two enemies. We don't want to block spawns on this mission, if you hadn't noticed. Okay, here's a problem. How do we deal with all this nonsense? My priority, unfortunately, has to be this guy. But there's no easy way to do it. Okay, you're a priority as well. If we can stop you from doing anything nasty, that'd be ideal. We can then block that with a... Hold on, here's another idea. If we're willing to risk some power grid, we've got options. And I am willing to risk some power grid here. We pop this down here. Fine. Then, I blast, which unfortunately puts me in a bad spot, HP-wise. The other option is I move back, get this charge off to start with. We, we take the one power grid damage that I'm expecting to take. Yup, saw that one coming. That's okay. Move back, and then blast like so. That gets rid of another shield, 
but we're still in a good spot. This guy's gonna get rid of another shield for us, which means that we got our shield mastery. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we're now out of shields. Okay. Here's an easy one for you. We blast like so and get an easy kill. That's fine. The problem is these two now. I mean, I can stop this attack. Simply. Very simply. But I can't really move anybody else any way that helps. Unless so if I tank a shot with this guy, but that's not ideal. And these two are still alive and consistently doing something nasty. Um, we might have to risk some more power grid here, but I, again, would rather not. If only you can move around. Like, this charge mech is causing some, some issues. Uh, we can block one shot just by moving this charge mech in the way. We can move here and absorb the second one. And then get a double shot off of here and lose one power grid here. I just, I hate the idea of there being too many of these guys. We also still need to get rid of uh, this mountain, ideally speaking. I got another idea, though. If I move over here, move here, charge mech you, pull the other guy in the way, that saves our power plant, which we need to do for the power grid that we would like to keep. That'll have to do. We're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out of the way. Which means he's being blocked. He'll attack my dude. My dude's down to one. That's fine. And we'll get the kill on the Scion because we have to. Now, unfortunately, this does leave us leave us in a very sticky position. Because this guy's still running rampant at one HP. Um, and we lost some more power. Like, we're now down to below what we started off with, pretty much, which is not ideal. There's an Alpha Leaper still in this game, which is disappointing and depressing. And it's managed to completely web up our dude. Which means that our dude is in death range. This has gone so horribly wrong. Like, I love the Zenith Guard sometimes, but this is not one of those times. If I do this to you, is it going to do anything? Not really. No, definitely not end turn. Like, this is shitty. Like, I'm going to lose Chen at the rate this is going. And I might have to. That's a possibility. It's, you know, something we signed up for. But I really hate it. This one's not going well. And I think we've also lost our power plant. So this mission went from being, oh yeah, we can definitely do it, to, oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. All of them are at low HP, and if only, if only, there was like an actual way to get around here, we'd be set. You're doing five to my dude. I honestly think I'm out of luck. Uh, there's no way to grapple out of this. At all. And I just wasted that. Reset the turn, please, for a second. That was a waste. Um, there's no way through all of this. This freaking garbage truck is still, like, damaging me for whatever reason. If only I just stayed here with Chen. Ah, that, that would have saved everything. Alright, well, we're going to make the best we can. Unfortunately, we're down at least one pilot. Another power grid. 
And, uh, there's no way to stop Chen dying, unfortunately. We've, we've lost Chen big time. There's no action I can do that would save me. Like, I would, I would gladly do it, but I can't. So we're out of luck on this one. The game kind of just screwed me, unfortunately. We lose out on both of our objectives here for our power ranking. We lost out another power grid, and we lost Chen. I would rather have abandoned the timeline, honestly. That sucked. Oh, eat a dick, lady. I'm very upset with her. Understood. So, unfortunately, due to that, we're going to go ahead and swap around things here. This, uh, this went very poorly. We might not even make it through this. So, no perfect island. Not even close now. Um, I have no idea how we can even defend a train, but we're going to give it a shot. This might be one of the shorter missions we've ever done. I am actually very upset by that, but okay, you know what? Whatever game, it happens. Sometimes you force me into a position where I'm stuck, and I really don't think that there's anything more I could have done. Uh, these scions are proving to be a major problem uh, in, a, in a very frustrating way, but whatever. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this dude and then uh, shove him into a bad spot. <sighs> what else can I do here? I'd also like to kill him, but... I mean, one way to easily do that is like this. But then the problem is I need to kill this uh, Scion first, right? So kill the Scion. It's going to do me a lot of damage if I do that. You know what? That's fine. Don't mind the damage. We can go ahead and deal with the damage like so. Kill him. You need to do this. And that's everybody's turn. We now don't have a real pilot. Well, like a named pilot on the field. We don't have any extra react cores. We don't have any extra bonuses whatsoever. This is not a good time for us. You can only move three as far as I remember, my friend. Yeah, so you are out of luck as far as being able to stop that goes. Uh, I can stop this two damage from happening through one of two ways. I'm going to do it the fun way. There we go. At least we got another achievement. That's what we signed up for. Now, you, on the other hand, are in a really shitty spot because of this freaking leaper, man. Uh, we're going to... What am I going to do? Like, what can I do? I move here and I shoot my own train? That's not going to work because then he shoots the, the remnants of the train. We take that damage. So we're out of luck on this front. He'll shoot the train. We're down another one. And just a bunch more bugs show up. Okay, cool. That's not cool, actually. Could you not do any of what you just did? All right, so this guy right now is going to die and do one damage to that dude. It's not enough. Um... You need to shield him. You need to move here and you need to zap. Except for you're not going to be able to shove this guy out of the way far enough. You will be able to kill him though. That's the main thing. Okay. So we're going to take another power grid here. There's nothing I can do about it. We got plus one mech move. Oh, that's a little late, but whatever. And the turn. So this is the last turn. We're going to lose another power grid, unfortunately. We're down to three. We could use more. So our next mission has to be a power grid centric one. That's fine. It's not like I'm down so much corporate rep it hurts, but whatever. Um, kill at least seven enemies and protect the power generator. That went so well the first time. Like, honestly, it's the only option we have. It does both of the things that we need. This Leaper, by the way, is an actual garbage unit, and I hate it to pieces. Uh, put these two on the other side. Keep away from the Leapers. Hopefully, we can get through this. Okay. Not happy. Not happy. Um, here's the easy start. Put out one of these. 
Blast out those other two. Then watch as this takes another power grid damage. <sighs> At least we got rid of... Oh, the resist. Thank heck. This game might have like decided that we just did not need to live anymore, but at the very least, we got this going for us. What I wish I could do to stop this from happening. Look, there's, this is an easy double. I, I can't say no to the easy double. But we have to do it this way. There, there's no other way. You are going to attack that shield. It's just end a story. Why are you here? We set the turn. I moved with him first, didn't I? I'm an idiot moron. So you need to attack and kill him. It's the only way to avoid any more additional power grid damage. Getting that attack will help uh, do something at least. Let's do that. Get at least one kill here. And that's going to have to be good enough. So now we got three hornets on the field, two of which are at one HP. Oh, sorry, one of which is at one HP. Oh my god! And they're all staggered! I'm not pleased about this at all. Like, there's no... None of them lined up at all. Okay. Well, unfortunately, none of them are at 1 HP and close enough to my uh, science mech to be able to do anything. Plus, you know, he's still taking damage here. Um... Unfortunately, we're losing two power grid, it seems. I, I hate this. I hate this a lot. Um, like here I was, thinking we had a reasonable chance of doing something. At least that guy's low enough that next turn we might be able to get a kill. Science vessel, what do you get? Yeah, okay, get that kill. That's cool, too. So we're going to lose two power grid here. There's nothing we can do about it. That puts us at one. And two if we manage to survive all this somehow. Christ, I hate all this. Okay, we have one AI drone, which I'll gladly just toss in the way of all this nonsense. You are still a person. I'd rather you didn't die. You are also still a person. I'd rather you got a kill. So, undo moves. You need to move here to get a kill. Do you? Okay, what you need to do is move out of the way. You need to move here and get a kill. You have a person inside you, I'd rather you didn't die. And good gravy, you don't have a person inside you, so I might as well just get a kill. To do nothing at all, I guess. Might as well cancel your attack while I'm at it. If we come out of this with a win somehow, I would be impressed. That would take tenacity, because right now I'm tilted right off the face of the earth. <sighs> at least we got those two freaking objectives cleared. Alright, so I have no idea how we're going to be able to do this. Like, the Firefly is tanky. The Firefly has a Scion that's back in it that's very strong. We have no means of really baiting them into a line. Um, other than maybe sheer luck. And the Firefly is easily just going to set up to get some easy shot. Like, a nice easy shot off. Yeah, just like that. So this is an issue, and I hate it. Because if I shoot him, I'll take one damage. Because this guy just won't take enough to die. And for my first move... Get the shot and kill it. Uh, and what I'm also going to do is just make sure that these two buildings are shielded, just in case. Because that might actually end up being helpful for whatever reason. Okay, a Hornet and a Firefly have showed up. <laughs> I just... I don't even, man. Who goes first? The Firefly does? Okay. So if I zap all along here, it's just going to create clouds. No one's allowed to attack on this row anymore, and that's actually okay. The other thing I can do is just make sure that this uh, hornet dies before anything bad happens. And let's at least slow down the fact that they're spawning every turn. Okay, that was a nice easy kill. Got a block off, and only one firefly spawned. He's attacking the exact same way he did last time. Okay, now what? Well, here's an easy one. We can blast like so. This gets a kill. 
But now that we're at two turns left, and this guy still needs to die if we even have a hope in, or a chance of doing much. You know what? Here's where we use our second one of these. Okay, so now he's attacking a shielded building. That's what we needed. Thank you. Alright, three more spawn. Like, we've been trying. We've been getting at least a kill a turn, and this is where we're at. I'm a little upset. So, what's going on over here? No one's attacking anything important. This guy is actually totally killable, too. So, let's do it. Uh, Why well, mechanized pilots can never compare to human pilots. How about you suck a dong? Because you ended up insulting Chen. who's was nothing but a hero this entire time. Get a double kill over here, and I'll be quite pleased. And I don't know. There's nothing really much that a science vessel can do. So, uh... You just move out of the way and let the turn end. Alright, we got through. This mission ended up turning out A-OK -okay by the end of it, but we still have, like, next to no power grid for our second island. I am scared. Uh, and I am worried. And I need to spend reputation. We don't even get a pilot. Gemini missiles will never end up having. Ice generator. Freeze yourself in nearby tiles. Let's see. Shock cannon. It's not good enough. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I remember how good Tiny Tank was the first time. Like, very good. So I'm gonna grab Tiny Tank. And by our powers combined, we are making Tiny Tank a reality. So the Tiny Tank... I don't think does much damage. He might do one damage to start off with, maybe zero. But with enough power cores, he'll actually end up being helpful. We are in for it. So it's the only other island that can help us. Well, at this point, honestly, Archive Inc. might actually be the thing we need to do. It's just easy enough. If you're from the future, you'll find our island even further back. Don't worry about it. Do not kill the Volatile Vec. <sighs> No much I, you have no idea how much I hate that mission a great deal. I'd rather not do it at all. Uh, defend the train. Let's give it a shot. There's a chance we can do this. So what we need to do is bait people into attacking here. And over here. And just remember, you can use the tiny tank as soon as it comes out to shove people in one direction. Ah, this sucks. This is already a terrible first turn. Can't stop this guy from attacking. You're gonna deal one damage and acid people? Look, that's actually a fully functional way to do things here. What I am definitely going to do is toss out the tiny tank. Because tiny tank is cute. And I like tiny tank. Tiny tank's gonna go over here, shove this guy over here. Then what? guess we might as well do it this way. If this... Okay, hold on. If I do that, then there's one very unfortunate side effect that comes to light. Namely that this Firefly is still very much a problem. I think we're going to create some lines of fire just by sitting here for now. Letting her attack... Letting the Firefly attack this building... Laying this guy acid up both of them, and then next turn we should be able to kill them. Either through charge mech, tiny tank shoving them around, something along those lines. But the acid everywhere is going to be more helpful than anything else. Alright, so they have a healing mech. Oh, healing mech? Healing back. Ah! Everything about this currently sucks. So what are you attacking? You're attacking straight ahead, huh? So if I move here and shoot, it'll do enough damage to kill one of them, for sure, which is nice, it's important. It gets rid of the acid guy, at least. Deals enough damage to the other one to make everybody happy. If I move out of the way here... Hmm, how do we 
want to do this one. I can shield our train. Which is not a terrible decision, honestly. Just in case for the future. Use Tiny Tank to shove him into the way here. And then use Charge Mech. There we go. There's a double kill right there that we needed. Now there's only one Firefly left on the field. They only get one spawn for the second last turn. And their Scion's going to heal this guy up by a tiny bit. The fire damage is a problem. Except for it's a, it's a droid. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. This is an odd one. If I'm being honest, I wish I could just shove this Scion out of the way. And then uh, move over here and just blast him and kill him somehow. But I'm not sure how that works. Especially because this thing doesn't shoot like a freaking artillery. Like, it's not the artillery version of what, what I wanted. Um, here's an idea, though. Just let that droid unit sacrifice itself. Blast everything else on the field. And then, um... Honestly, just give a hug to Tiny Tank for being awesome. All things considered, this was a good mission. I'm surprised, actually. Didn't think that was going to be possible, but it ended up working out just fine. Which now opens up options. Defense shields, that's good enough. Ohm Town comes with air support, that's good enough. We can even get there to actually like go for uh the reactor core over here which we desperately need if we want tiny tank to actually be very helpful for us at all it would be dope if we could get him the extra damage more than anything else uh and i think that's where we want to sink most of our points currently the laser is doing three on a turn it's hey, got to be handy enough um yeah i think we gotta go for the reactor core we're pumping them all into tiny tank we're going for tiny tank carry like that other episode that we had uh, this sucks! It's a 4 HP dude and a 3 HP dude. Um, please never again. It's gonna happen again. I know it will, but I just, I kind of hate it. So where's the Scarab going? Oh my god, you're kidding. Ah, uh, you've gotta be joking me. Well, none of the enemies are going where I need them to go. However, I can certainly do something about that. If I get a pull on this guy, he's gonna die to air. That's fine. Move over here and blast the Scion. We don't have to worry about the Scion anymore. Finally, if I move over here and just charge him, it'll do the two damage we needed to. The other option, and this one I like the best because you know, of course I do. Tiny tank. Tiny tank moves. Tiny tank shoots. We get two kills this round. Plus, we have deployed Tiny Tank in a way that is beneficial to our team. Gotta love the Tiny Tank. Tiny Tank's the best. All right, so we managed to only get one spawn this turn. I want to kill this guy. Almost whatever it takes, I'd be happy to kill him. Um, so how do we do that? Well, you can move four now. So if I move over here and Tiny Tank him, then move over here and then blast him. You're yeah, you're gonna die to fire, which is awesome. You know what, and I might as well get that kill while I can. Hold on, is there anything else we can do to get that kill? No. Even Charge Mech can't quite make it all the way over there. So Charge Mech's gonna go all the way over here, and we'll get our Science Mech to get the kill. Weird, but hey, it works. Charge Mech, it's not much you can do other than hurt yourself, which is really not what I'm looking to do. So, uh, end turn. But everything died, at least. Now, can I get an Airstrike that is positioned nicely? game please see you will play and thank you thank you look at that that's actually positioned very nicely you've done it uh small problem we're still in a weird spot uh you need to move out of the way okay hold on now that you moved out of the way tiny tank shoots the hornet into there those three are dead before it even starts there's just this guy left Honestly, just reposition yourself for a little bit later, I guess, just in case. Like, if we need to run interference on this Hornet moving around, I'd like to have our charge mech ready to go. You have already done your thing this turn? No. No, you have not, in fact. So here. Um, 
Oh, we can't undo any other moves, huh? That's fine. Uh, what we're gonna do, then, is repair, just in case. If we can get another kill for next turn. You might as well repair, not that it matters at all. Alright, airstrike! Yes, please! Thank you very much! <laughs> I appreciate it a great deal! Now, with all that airstrike killing, there's this guy, this guy's already dead. Okay, fantastic. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, uh, in that light, you go over here, you shield our dude. Our dude then gets a kill. Laser boy doesn't need to do anything. Tiny tank can just chill over here. We can get laser guy over here to just do some extra damage and blow up a mountain for reasons, and we're done. Um, this was good. The airstrike on the last three, like on the last two turns, was clutch. I'm very glad that we picked the airstrike mission. So we're getting a little closer. We got our power grid building back up. We got a little bit of corporate reputation building up. Unfortunately, you got plus three crit defense, which is just not going to get any better. Destroy the dam, block the Vex spawning three times, protect the defense lab. <sighs> With Tiny Tank, it's possible. It's possible. With Hornets being on this particular map, this is going to be a tough one. I don't think we're going to be able to actually accomplish it. Research Center has a decent chance of going off without a hitch. I think we've got to give it a try, and I do mean right now. Um, if we set up such that we have our, uh, our mechs like so, I'm hoping that we can actually shove some people to block for us. Maybe even get a nice good laser. You give me a pod now? Ah! It's always on the three! Okay, so we got four... 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 Four. Oh my god, we've got four objectives on this round. That is stupid and gross, and I hate it. If I go over here and I charge like so, it will get a kill. And that's, like, actually great. What do I do with you? Okay, here's an idea. I move over here, I blast like so. I get a kill on the Hornet. And that's, uh, that's all that she wrote. It's not hard. A little bit of damage onto this dam means that we're in a better position than we were. Um, and it guarantees that we get the Time Pod, which we desperately need. So once we've done that, this guy's dead. We still need to deal with this. We need to deal with this. Well, no, this guy's dealt with, I suppose, in a way, because he's attacking our friend here. And then we need to deal with you. One option is we can shield the building that's attacking. For the turn. It's not terrible. And then use our charge mech. To toss out Tiny Tank. Hmm. Yes, this works. So we do this. Toss out Tiny Tank. Tiny Tank goes over here. Shoves this guy off to the right. We don't have to worry about him no more. Move this guy over here. Get the blast. Boom, Diada. No more need for the Hornet. We're going to take some acid, but whatever. At least this dam's a little bit closer to dead. Then... I move to the here because I'm a flying unit. I can do this. And I shield the defense lab. Everybody's deployed. Everybody's ready to go. We still have to block the Vex spawning three times, though. We only have a few more turns to do it. <sighs> this sucks. All right. So, they now have a Scion. And Tiny Tank is taking a hit. I don't like it. Now, with that said, we do have options. I, for one, would love it if Tiny Tank could just blast this guy and break the dam at the same time. It would get a kill, which is hilarious to me. You're completely stuck. Um, honestly, I love this plan, and I need it in my life. Didn't know that that would kill Tiny Tank, to be fair. 
Reset the turn. <laughs> I did not know that would kill Tiny Tank, to be fair. So, Tiny Tank is too small to deal with that nonsense. That's fine. Move over to the side. Use Tiny Tank to blast this way. Okay. If I shoot like so, it will do some damage. The problem is that this guy's going to die for nothing. Like, actually nothing. I already used my reset turn, too, so I need to be careful about how I do the rest of this turn, huh? goes in what order you're going second you're going third fourth the other problem is that this isn't going to get any kills that really matter like we're actually up shit creek right now especially after using that reset we're in a bad spot So, we move out of the way. We definitely move out of the way. This will kill us. Right now, if I tank this, I'm going to take two damage. This building is going down. There's nothing I can do about it. This will kill the Scion at the very least, but do very little else. Things I gotta start blocking Vec now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this guy right here. You'll get a kill on him. So that's fine. You'll get a kill on the building. That sucks. And my tank will be all acided up, which means he's easily killed by even himself next turn. We really didn't have much of an option there, unfortunately. There's just, there's all way together too many. There's all together way too many of them. Uh, okay. If the enemy team could stop being a whole pile of douche nozzles that'd be great uh we do have an option and that if i go here and then blast it still does not block it <laughs> um we need to block spawns and none of my enemies are near spawns right now uh excuse me for that little bit of problem You know what? Here's how we get the, the three spawns blocked. And hear me out here. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my tank. No, wait. We need to do it a different way. I need to, because I need to break this dam on the last turn. You need to move still, huh? If you move... And you do this. And you heal. Then we will block all three spawns on the very last turn. This is fine. He attacks, does nothing. He attacks, does nothing. He attacks, does nothing. We block those last three spawns, losing Tiny Tank, unfortunately. And nobody's in a position to really do much about it. Okay, hold on. How much HP do you have? Two? Okay, if you got 2 HP, this leaves you in a perfect place to do this. Then, you can move out to the side, blast the dam. And this leaves us in a perfect position to get a final kill. Alright, so that was not perfect, but I will take it for what it's worth. Messy. Very messy. But we did it, so I'll take it. We lost two power grid, though. We need to start looking at power grid as an actual positive. And we did get the time pod, at least. Oh, please give me a reactor core and a pilot! You've done it. I don't even care that you got plus three grid defense. You are so much better all of a sudden. You have plus one mech reactor. 
oh my god, you just made everything an ally immune if I, if I really wanted to. Or, 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 I could be smart and put you inside this tank. Don't get me wrong, it feels bad, sort of. Because now if I don't want you to die, which I don't, because you're actually really good, then we're in a better spot. We'll put our laser mech here. I think that makes sense. Is this how we want to do things, truly? Renewable can move through enemy units. For a laser mech, that's a very nice bonus. But I think we have to keep it the way it was. No, we definitely don't want to keep it the way it was. You're now max level. So you want to be in the tank that might not necessarily get as many kills. Uh, giving tiny tank plus 2 HP? Not a bad plan. Having plus 2 HP yourself? Probably a better plan. Um, currently, David Smith. You have plus 3 grid defense and are just kind of sitting here doing very little, huh? Yeah, this is still better for us. We could put in more power grid. Uh, sorry, more mech reactors. And I do mean this sincerely when I say that plus 2 HP here on this guy would be pretty hot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes! Tiny Tank having 2 damage means he can actually push, shove, and do 3 damage on a turn if at all possible. It's a little risky, but I think it's well worth it. This actually gives us a chance to do the Relic Preserves, because now our Tiny Tank does enough damage to kill off a basic Hornet. Plus, the Power Grid is very nice, so I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, okay, this is a little strange. I would like to go ahead and abuse the fact, though, that our Defense Mech has the, like, had the ability to fly. Which means that you're dead. But then on top of that, I can kill pretty much anybody so long as I can move fast enough to pull them in. Um, not that time, though. Here's an idea. Toss you up. Put out the tiny tank. Tiny tank moves over here. Kablamo! It's dead. You move in behind. You blast him for three. Kablamo! He's dead. And now we just got this... This defense mech who can just go ahead and do this. So now we got the two difficult cities to defend shielded up for this turn. This is great. And we've also blocked a bajillion spawns. Now we still need to kill a lot of enemies, so we're gonna have to get off these spawns like next like this turn, really. Uh one of the spawns will die, which is nice, but alright, tiny tank, you need to move over here, blast them away. Then you can move over here, repair. And you can move over here and repair. And then we just get to watch the fireworks, really. Um, in that light, is there anything else I'd rather be shielding? The answer is... No. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here. And I wish I could shield, but I'm going to put myself in a position where next turn I can maybe get a kill. Um, yeah, I understand that I've got a wasted person. That's fine. So we got three spawns, one of which is on fire two hornets though the hornets are a massive problem so you're not gonna die yet you need to die this turn somehow tiny tank can help if this guy goes away the other option is I move my friend over here get the blast on move my tank over here shove him he's the dead now you, you can be tiny tanked. And just because I can, I shield both my units for next time. Not that it matters. Tiny tank having damage is what's going to allow us to carry. Just straight up. I'm not even mad. The tiny tank is going gonna, is gonna to carry us. Um, we didn't get the seven enemies, unfortunately. We blocked too many of them on that one turn. But hey, it was... Very close to a perfect island. I'm not going to be too upset, though. We've been doing okay overall. Now, you are a problem. Um, I think we need to set up for lines of fire over here. And we need to set up our tiny tank defender mech combo over here for sure. Alright. I'd rather you stopped existing. Alright, so that can be handled if only this guy can move a little faster. You need to be moved elsewhere. Uh, we also need to make sure that Tiny Tank does a thing. So, Tiny Tank, come on out. Thanks, friend. Um, what can we do with Tiny Tank that'll actually help? We might want to actually reset that, I just realized. Um, 
Tiny tank. Move back here. Get an easy kill on this dude. Sure. And then move you over here and get the pull. So that way you don't attack any buildings that are important. Yeah, I like this plan. This is fine. Do you think, Tiny Tank? Do you think? Alright, I'm actually going to stand back a little bit so that way when I get this kill, I'm in a better position to deal with stuff as it comes up. Maybe even Scorpion Man over here. Uh, and turn. Tiny Tank is going to be the reason why we win this entire match, if we win at all. Okay, we got a spawn. Tiny Tank is now under fire. That doesn't bother me nearly as much as you might think it does, though, gang. Tiny Tank, fire! <laughs> and honestly, we can just go ahead and charge him again, too. The problem right now is that we still have this, uh, this friendo over here. Now we can badly hurt it. It's not going to be enough to stop it from dying, though. Yeah, we're going to have to do it this way. Um, charge mech. Move up here. Shove him so that way he takes a little bit more damage. He's a little bit more killable for next turn. Now, mind you, our charge mech is a little bit low on the HP side of life. Get this blast on this dude. And then, despite the fact that it's a little inefficient, get the shield. So now we're blocking this shot. We've dealt him enough damage so we can kill him with a laser next turn. Tiny Tank and our normal charge mech are doing fine. This guy's going to be low enough that we should be able to kill the scorpion next turn as well. Stop spawning fireflies. Ah! <laughs> okay. You're attacking straight ahead. That does not bother me. We can kill through a variety of means. But I think that the only way this is going to work out is if we shoot and kill this Firefly using our laser mech. Right? Then move Tiny Tank over here. Get this guy out of the way. Maybe even shield this guy so we can charge this guy from across the map. We get Tiny Tank to blast him and kill him. Like so. And then finally, you... Shield or charge mech. So on this second last turn, you can at least get a kill. Alright. Now, uh, we're out of shields. So our charge mech effectively is not helpful. We probably could have sat on a spawn and repaired. And that would have been a better use of our time with that mech. But... I'm not going to sweat it too much. You're not attacking anything important. You are! And I hate it. How do we stop him? Honestly, we just pull him off. Perfect. Now he's not doing anything important at all. We can get this guy to shoot him. He gets the kill because Tiny Tank is a god. You might as well just sit here and repair my dude. And like, you too? That's the end of the, that's the, end of the mission. We did it. We're not going to get all the experience we wanted, but it's going to be more than enough, I think. And we did fine. We still have a third island left to go. But I'm quite pleased with this one. Another two corporate rep. We actually did okay. We were so close to a perfect island too. I'm a little upset with myself. Let's see. Teleporter. Teleporter's good. I wouldn't say it's as good as the pole necessarily. But it can be. Acid tank. <laughs> we can't. We can't afford to. Kickoff boosters are handy. But not necessary in this case. I don't think. But they are free. Um, if we equip those onto the laser mech, that'll allow the laser the laser mech to just effectively, quick, you know, fairly consistently get that extra HP boost that Henry Kwan could use. I know that we're definitely getting one reactor core though, so that we can go ahead and install it here and get plus two HP on Tiny Tank. Now Tiny Tank actually has the ability to block a spawn, and Tiny Tank is a god. Um. I think we need an additional reactor core. Very specifically. So we install it on Quan to get that extra movement that we need. Either that or we make our thing ally immune. That's that's definitely an idea. With our final power grid, 
Do I want to buy the teleporter? I don't think anything other than a science vessel can use it. And currently everything else is a science vessel weapon. Yeah, there we go. So we can't really use it otherwise. Power grid it is. It's unfortunate, but them's the brakes. So what is our last one? Hit four enemies with a single laser. We can do it, I believe. Let's leave the island. We got one more island left to go. Armored island is not so good. HP island is almost equally as bad, but it's not quite as bad. It's just got a lot of high HP people, which is an issue. Um... You know what? Considering that we have a team with tiny tank on it, maybe this armored Zion isn't so bad after all. Let's give it a shot. The only problem with uh, Pinnacle Robotics is that the island tends to be a bit of a pain and, and a bit of a doozy to actually navigate. Freeze and defend both robots, protect the robotics lab. Doable. Particularly because we start off with a frost mech and we'll have tiny tank to help us. So I'll give it a shot. Now we do have a blobber. We need to bait the blobber into attacking someplace. Where we can fairly easy, dis fairly easily dispose of the problem. We also need to deal with the fact that I would like to go ahead and use Tiny Tank on the first turn. Because Tiny Tank is just as much damage as the charge mech itself. And also pushes and all that stuff without the self damage. It's nice. Here's what I'm thinking. With the, with the additional movement... Henry Kwan will be able to move four. Except for we didn't buy that, did we? We did not. Yeah, this is a safe place to be able to blast. Tiny Tank can be launched across the freaking map to do what it needs to do. And Defense Mech is good to go no matter where. I'm trying to bait an attack here with the Blobber. Considering the Blobber can only move two. But uh, we'll see what happens. Honestly, this is a very shaky start for us. It's a rough beginning. Okay, okay. Alright. You just had to show up there, didn't you? Okay. I can get rid of this. I'd be pleased. There's no easy way to get there. Here, like, there's an easy freeze on this guy. I don't doubt that. That would actually be sort of handy. He's in a bit of a weird spot, but it would be handy. Freezing this guy here, not my top priority, honestly. Does he go first? He does. So he can actually deal with the blobber himself. Which is fine. So if he can deal with the blobber himself, and this guy's the easy freeze, then let's go for it. Uh, that leaves this blobber, this scarab, and this scion left to deal with. I would like to say that Tiny Tank should be able to deal with the scion fairly easily. You can't quite move far enough, can you? We can't quite deal enough damage either is the problem. Alright, so here's an idea. I can't deal with this blobber right now. What I can do is a little bit of damage. Only one, but it's enough that next turn we can kill him. And I can also block off this building from taking damage this turn. And I think that that's going to be worth it for us. So he shoots the blobber thing and kills it. He shoots that building and does nothing. The blobber's still alive. And we have to freeze that other robot. Okay. We could use the robot to shoot the blob again. You do. You 4 HP. That's nasty. That's gross. Okay. Uh, I think that our first and obvious move is just to kill the Scarab. Really. If the Scarab dies, we have a good time. The other option is that we can completely ignore the Scarab this turn and try to move ourselves in a position where we can free, where we can uh, shield both of these, but I don't think we can. 
to get rid of the blobber it might be an easy way to just it just might be an easy thing to sit over here and pull him over here kills off the blob that leaves our charge mech our freeze mech and tiny tank to do the rest of the work Charger Mac moves over here and shoves like so. Can you move fast enough? You move four, right? One, two, three, four. That puts you in a place where you'll end up dying. I can't actually justify that. Okay, I still liked my first idea. Get the pull onto this guy. Have him deal with the blob. One, two, three, four. That's an option, too. So we move over here with Tiny Tank. Blast the rock out of him. Move over here. Freeze him. Now we still have a charge mech left to go. And I'd like to go ahead and reposition if at all possible. Now I could charge into the water. It won't deal me any damage. And it'll in fact put me in a very bad spot in case if anything goes horribly wrong. But having this guy be frozen here means that no one can really attack him here, which is fine. The only thing that I need to do now is just freeze this robot and we should be okay. Okay. Please get rid of the blob. Thank you. And two more spawns. S two scorpions? This is terrible. That, that's the worst. Okay, now what do we do? With him locked up like that, it means we can't freeze. Here's an idea. Move Tiny Tank over here. And suddenly, that's not a problem anymore. It's not a bad move, all things considered. It's a good two for one. Then what? Move over here. We get a nice big shove. And then what? Can you move far, far, you know, far enough, fast enough to do whatever you need to do? No, you cannot. This will deal us one damage if I can do that move. This is this is rough. There's also the aspect of us needing to freeze something this turn. It's the second last turn. Right? One option is that we can go ahead and shield these two buildings. That way we don't have to worry about them anymore. It's not a bad plan. I can then also freeze this building to make double sure that the robotics lab does not go under. Not a terrible plan. Um, I will do it. And then next turn I can pull this guy away so that we, our uh, tiny freeze tank can actually move up to this guy and actually hurt him. So, shield. Freeze? It does nothing. Interesting. Uh, and unfortunate. Smash. Last, call it a turn. They're not getting any additional spawns this turn. This turn, so we should be okay. We need to freeze him. We can do so easily. All right. You need to move out of the way. Is ally immunity a thing? It is. Freeze him. We've done it. We protected the robotics lab. We've done everything. We are actual gods. I'm I'm very pleased. I'm incredibly pleased. We actually pulled it off. <sighs> I believe it was a hard mission too. It was one of the harder missions we're gonna face on this island. And it gave us another reactor core. Oh my god, yes. All right, so 
this other reactor core honestly just giving it to charge mech seems like a decent plan however Quan needs to move faster so Quan now has the ability to move a bit faster handy now everybody moves at four which is good silicate planes kill all enemies before they retreat this should be easy enough but just in case secondary cooling effectively all we need to do is not like block spawns problem they'll freeze defend the robots it's it's possible and we need it to get to the rest of the island if we want to do those power grid missions and i kind of do but if i go for full-on corporate rep then we're gonna need to do silicate planes secondary cooling and the districts that would be the best easiest way to do that i think or you know let's defend the robots to start off with and that'll give us the options that we need so uh they've got a scion hornet all that other junk i hate it trying to bait their hornet into attacking something useless and they give me a time pod then they give me a time pod i hate everything I also hate this, especially, mostly. Okay. So you need to be dealt with. So we can save our friend. You also need to be dealt with so we can save our friend. <sighs> this is terrible. <laughs> like, this is actually the worst. Um... One option is that we move a friend over here. And we take out the tiny tank. Tiny tank can just kill the scion by moving over here, collecting the time pot, and killing it. Great. Then what? Then we still need to worry about you and you. We've used two, three out of our four units. Well, okay, two out of our four units. I think that just convinced me. You won me. Doesn't work that way, huh? Okay, how about this? I move here, I toss out the tiny tank. Tiny tank moves over here, kills the Scion. Scion's dead, great. Then... Or one friend here laser blast gets the kills there and then we shield the robot for this turn i literally don't see another option this will have to do plus it creates a line of ice the other option is instead of using the shield we just pull them out of the way He's, in a, he's on thin ice. To be fair. So any damage at all will drown the thing, which is no good. But um, still a better position than where we were in before. We want to get rid of this blobber this time around. Like, it's an alpha blobber of all things, too, which I hate. Okay. He froze. That's helpful. That froze. Ah, this, this round has been nothing but kind to us. Nothing but kind. We just need to pull him into the drink somehow. That should be easy enough. Sit here. Poof. Done. Done. We block a spawn. We've killed off the scorpion. And now we've got our other mech back. Where are you attacking? You're attacking to free your friend? That almost doesn't matter to me. Um, honestly, if I do this. And then I swing sway the other way back. Like, we kill both of them. So, yeah. One hundred percent worth it. Finally, there's you. We haven't used any of our shields yet. Time to use two of them. This has been a good turn. And tiny tank is gonna have to be all the tank that we need for now. He froze. He's not yet frozen, but he will end up like having a bad day. So how do we do this? 
We still have a turn left. I suggest that we stand here and re-repair for our last turn. For the for our second last turn. Yep, that makes sense. We block a spawn, which is effectively like killing somebody. Um Getting that blast is like really nice, but If I move here and do a two shot, then I move here and I do another two shot. It gets the kill! Tiny tank, you tiny god. I am so thrilled to beast this with you. All right, and just in case, we're gonna go ahead and give this guy the shield that he needs in order to survive the next turn. So now we can use all four of our units next turn offensively, which is awesome. And it's two Scorpos. One Scorpo. My bad. My mistake. I am sorry. <laughs> uh, you can just shove him there. And then you might as well move over here and then pull him into the drink. I don't know how this could have turned out any better. This is a fantastic mission. By the end of it, it looks messy. And we got lucky. A lot of frozen units for us. But you know what? You know what? We still did a good job. We still got a perfect island. We got a time pod for it. It's a reactor core. That's fine. All right. With that reactor core, we start putting some damage on Henry Kwan. Or, 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 or we can stop worrying about this guy's HP so much. Hey, look at that. Okay. Now what? Thermal dampeners. Kill at least seven enemies. Protect the emergency batteries. Should be doable. So they got two machines. They're easy enough to kill thanks to Laser Town. Can you take me to fame in laser town? But we also have the ability to shield things, so I'm not too worried. Like, this this should be an easy mission. Um, the trick right now is can we get rid of the Scion in time to be able to deal with everything else? And the answer is, quite simply put, yes. We're going to move over here. And we toss out the Tiny Tank, because Tiny Tank is a god. And then we blast like so. And Tiny Tank just got a double kill. You're attacking that does not bother me. Like, not even a little bit. Um... Although, admittedly, it would be very entertaining if I could just pull him into you with a ranged attack of some kind. Uh, better yet, though. Break the ice. And then have the scorpion attack his own robot friend. Yep. This is great. Finally, buddy. Uh, get over here. So, uh, that's a lot of kills on the first turn. Four of them, to be exact. We only have to kill three more and we're good to go. Oh, the blobber! No, not the blobber! Okay, the blobber's not attacking anything important, which is nice. Uh, how do we get through this? So, ideally, Tiny Tank would do something. And Tiny Tank can very easily do something. How do I want to deal with this? I can just get my laser dude to go walk up and laser him. That's an option. It's a good option. Then how do I deal with you? I could shove you and then shield from the blob. But the blob only does one damage, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, get the kill. Get the kill. Honestly, just pull him out of the way. There we go. That does it. That did it exactly right. Why didn't I think to pull people out of the way of damage before? All right, now what they got? They got a, they got a, a, a you know, a digger man, an alpha horn, and a whole bunch of other nonsense. You think this frightens me? Um, it should a little. We can go ahead and shield both of these. That's a great way to spend our second last turn, I think. Then what's uh, what's Tiny Tank gonna do? Like Tiny Tank wants to shoot him. Like, out of the way, and then just deal with them as a result. And I like that plan. You cannot be murdered in one go. You can be badly hurt, but not murdered. Um...
This option sort of avails itself to me. But I don't want to be on fire. So I'm not gonna. Um... I think this makes the most sense. Get Tiny Tank started. Then... Move over here, shield this guy. Who's then going to use his immense firepower to knock him into the Stone Age. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. I'll take some extra damage for no reason at all. At least, at least it got us a kill. So that fire damage is going to cause us to be lethal if we're not careful. And there's now an extra way to attack this city, which scares me, and the scorpions. And alpha hornets. All of them are alphas! You're not attacking anybody, though, and that makes me pleased. Alright, so, you have 1 HP left. You have 4 HP left. You have 2 HP left, and we'll die if you attack just anything. Um... Hmm. This is a tough one. Like, all of this is really bad. You have to take priority, though. And ideally, I'd like you to live. Tiny Tank doesn't have to. I like this plan. Tiny Tank can go ahead and shove him out of the way. You can just move back and, and pull this guy away from there. Can I deal with you? Yeah, easily. Through multiple means. In fact, here's an, here's an easy way to deal with him. Just shield it. So that's shielded. You can get the blast kill here. Nicely done. You can go ahead and... Um, Sit here and repair yourself. And you can try to go for that three-point kill, except for it doesn't work. Right, reset turn. <laughs> Tiny Tank, do your thing. Nicely done. Tiny Tank will live, not that it matters. Then, you move over here. You shield both buildings. Easy peasy. Then you, blast him. He's dead. Finally, you're still alive. Count your lucky stars. Sit here and repair, so that way you don't, I don't know, look stupid. This was a fine way to end this round, although not perfect, we still got our perfect island, and that matters more than anything else. At this point, experience has to come secondary. Alright, now it's going to be another two for us. We're so close to a perfect island, I can smell it. Robotics repair. What's with you? These factories are manufacturing hostile machines, but there are hundreds of innocent lives within. Please defend them while we try to shut them down safely. That's not easy. It is worth the risk, I think, just for the corporate rep. We just need to make sure that we can handle all the extra bots that show up. And with Tiny Tank, it's entirely doable. So you know what? Let's go. So what we want to do is line up our enemies, or at least bait an easy attack right about here, or here, either way's fine, from the blobber. And that should be good enough. We're nowhere near the scorpion, so we should be able to deal with it. Time pod! Damn it! <laughs> that is no fun. Um, okay, that's exactly where I expected that would land. That's fine. Honestly, I would like to do this move like so. Which kills the blobber and puts this guy so low that it makes me a happy boy. Fine. I like that plan. Then, our charge mech. It's honestly, again, better to pretty much always use Tiny Tank. So move over here. We can't shove him that way. We have to shove him the other way, otherwise we're going to destroy our Time Pod. So we toss out the Tiny Tank. Tiny Tank shoots him over here. He's down to one. Finally, you're still a thing. Can't shield the people we want to. 
Which means that we're going to have to put you somewhere else. We can shield this. So that way the scorpion doesn't damage it, which is nice. And then use tiny tank over here to shove this person off and do half of their HP and damage. I think that that's the best way to do things. So, blobber's gone. Fine. Or at least, you know, the blob is gone. The blobber is still alive, the piece of garbage, but whatever. Put a tiny tank. Tiny tank happily will shoot. Tiny tank needs to be careful or else he'll drown. And we will attempt to protect this building for this turn. Now, I could sacrifice it and make my future a little easier by being able to pick up this time pod. But every piece of power grid helps in hard mode, so I'm going to go ahead and just assume that we can go for the secondary collection condition for this. And hope we can manage. Hmm... You've made things a little difficult this turn, and I kind of hate it. Particularly this. So you're at 1 HP. Oh, we can do this! We can charge out ourselves, get a kill, and hurt Tiny Tank. But, like, hurting Tiny Tank does not bother me nearly as much as you think it does. What does bother me is this 4 HP Alpha Jerk. How do we deal with him? Because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking the ideal super play right now is to pull this guy backwards and attack his own dude. Does he do lasers? What does he do? Stronger projectile that causes the target to burn. That's fine. And tiny tank. Honestly, you shoot this guy. And he dies? That's well worth it. The problem is you can't move anywhere right now. And I wish you could. How are we going to deal with this guy? And that's my major problem right now. Is that this guy is going to destroy my time pot. I can pick it up. I can then tank the two damage if I really wanted to by repairing on that square. We can sacrifice one power grid to this bomb. Hold on, can Tiny Tank cross water? I don't think Tiny Tank can cross water either, though. So if we break this right now, like, we're in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? Um... How much are you doing? Three. That's too much. Okay, I, I still think that this is a good idea. It gets us out of the Scorpion. It deals damage and kills the Scarab. And although Tiny Tank's in a bit of a weird spot, Tiny Tank is still in a better spot than they might have been otherwise. And getting a kill on the Hornet here? It's a fine idea. We need to get this Time Pod. So we're going to repair and we're going to take it down to one here, which sucks. Finally, we're going to go ahead and pull this person to destroy his own robot friend. This is honestly the best thing I think I've got. And unfortunately... Oh, wait, no. That's on a nice tile. Tiny Tank is still going to live. Although he's stuck now. Tiny Tank is in a very bad spot. Can only shoot in certain directions. Oh god, this sucks. Like, big time this sucks. But this, this works. Okay, so we have to do this attack. This is the only one that works the best. That double kill is vital. Tiny Tank can shoot this guy for two. It's not exactly anything worth talking about. About, um, 
you are in a really tricky spot. You can get a kill on this guy. I think that's worth it. You need to do this. To keep our guy alive and to keep this building in one piece. And Tiny Tank, just shoot him, I guess. There's nothing else you can do, so... We managed to make the best of a bad situation there, though, for sure. No more scorpions, please. Thank you. No one's attacking anything vitally important either, which is really nice. Uh, tiny tank, please. Thank you. Uh, defense tank, please. Thank you. Let's see, you got 3 HP. You can move off if you wanted to. Get a blast off. Which HP you're gonna have? Eh, not enough. Um, if I'm being honest, I'd rather just kill this blobber. Like, oh, wait, did you get a level up? You did. Plus two mech HP. That's new. I wonder when that happened. Um, we can get an easy kill. Like so. No more blobber in the in the picture, really. We can go ahead and get a shove, but it's not gonna do you very much good. Right now, I'd rather that you attack nothing. We got through this mission. Again, a messy one, but we're managing to make this very strange comp work. Largely thanks to Tiny Tank being the damage that our science vessel just does not do. Um, and then the Time Pod. It's so good. And we got another dude. That gives us plus three good defense. But Archimedes is actually very good for us. Um, how do we want to do this? If I put it in Archimedes anywhere, Science Vessel, maybe not the worst place to put him. I think that makes sense then we can put this in here and get the fire and forget up and running so honestly this is a neat is a neat idea but the more i'm thinking about it, the more it just, just doesn't do anything um putting archimedes in here on the other hand makes some sense but again not enough Honestly, we're just going to do this for now because it's effectively the same person. But uh, where do I want to put that extra reactor core? If I put that extra reactor core into Archimedes, I'd rather put it into the HP, if I'm being completely frank with you. The other place I'd rather be putting it potentially is into our charge mech. So a charge mech actually does, you know, additional damage with this 5, H you know, 5 HP. Oh, do you see what I see, though? Hold on, Henry Kwan, come out of there for a minute. There we go, there we go, there we go. Put you back in here, nicely done, and you back in here. With the extra little bit of a mech reactor, we can get that five HP, no problem. You already have seven HP this way. Install, plus two damage, tiny tanks ready to go. You're now maneuverable, you have seven HP. The next reactor core we get allows us to do a lot more damage a lot more frequently this is good so we so far have a perfect island it's the first time all 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 game i want this i want this something fierce um we need to bait a blob he can only move two so you can only put a blob here or he, like you know along this row here or this row here so in order to bait it we're gonna put it here then i'm gonna put the other two over here and hope it's good enough. With Tiny Tank being able to deploy across the entire map, we should be fine. Yeesh. I just realized something. This Joker causes these Jokers to explode. They explode on death. Okay, Tiny Tank has to go here. Tiny Tank in the move over here and blast for whatever it's worth. The problem is that this guy still exists and we have no means of pulling. Or pushing otherwise. I mean, we can push him away. Which would do the trick. But not enough of a trick. How much HP do you have? Three. You'd end up dying. Like, okay, here's the deal. If I shove this guy away, we're in a bad spot. 
Um, you need to kind of just laser straight ahead. There's no option for you otherwise. Hold on, is that going to blow up the blobber? Does the blobber explode? It doesn't seem like the blobber's under the effects of the scion, so that's something for us at least. I think that that's worth it. Reset the turn though for a second. I think we need to think about this fairly seriously. If we get this done, that puts them low enough that we can get Tiny Tink to launch from across the gap and blast like so, which kills both of them, sort of. And although we'll take one grid damage, with that guy out of the way, we'll be able to move here and just pull this guy forward to stop him from attacking the... Yeah, this makes the most sense. It doesn't work. I'm an idiot. I'm mad at myself. Because this guy will die, but at what an incredible cost. Okay, we're going to lose the power grid doing this. But it has to be done. The resist! Oh my god, thank you. Alright, then we move over here. Then we get the pull. We're going to lose one power grid over here, but that resist was necessary. Whoo-wee! Alright, we're going to lose one power grid. That's fair. That's fine. I understand. Make it happen. We knew it was going to happen. Now, we've already killed the Scion, so we don't have to worry about any more of that nonsense. This guy is stuck in a weird spot. You're attacking nothing useful at all, and yeah. We really don't have to worry about many people this round. Um, the trick right now is that we've got a weird situation with all of these jokers um honestly I'd, I'd like to just do this and liberate the small island of all of that immediately which allows me to kind of move tiny tank and shoot this dude and kill him which is worth it Allows me to take this dude and pull you into the drink, which kills you. And finally, I could shove you, but that wouldn't serve as much purpose as I'd like. So I'm gonna do instead is light myself on fire. Hell no. Um, you know, I'm just gonna sit here. Honestly, Henry Kwan's gonna like rest. And on the second turn, Henry Kwan rested. Content in himself. Another scorp a scorpion and another scarab. Alright, this this could be worse. Um You need to be dealt with. And it can be done. Look, I can shoot you from behind, and that'll do the trick. The problem is that this Joker is still a thing. It needs to be shoved. You, I can shove, and it'll do three damage total, which is not enough. It'll keep me safe. It'll deal the thing three damage, which is nice. But, uh, past that, we're kind of out of, you know, luck on that front. Um, this might be the only way that we kill off the scorpion fast enough. Can you move fast enough to, to get up somewhere useful? The answer is not quite. And even with one additional movement, I could grant you with the science vessel. It's not enough. So, get the kill. That needs to happen. Uh, the next two big things are you and you. You can be dealt with by using a shield. You can be dealt with just straight up being killed. You know what? I'd rather just straight up kill you if I could. It's fine. Use this to shield our corporate headquarters. Alright, so they're going to get two more spawns this turn. But now we've kind of made it interesting in the fact that there's a bunch of uh, breakable ice. If anybody sits on that breakable ice, there's a high chance we can kill them. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Weird and I hate it. Uh, if we move over here and we shoot, we'll do enough damage to kill our own dude. I don't like it. Move over here and we... 
do this. Does some damage. Here, hold on. Move over here. We blast this for whatever it's worth. We can get at least one kill. It's not enough for both kills, though. And we still need to deal with you, too. Tiny Tank, can you help? Potentially. Highly potentially. Yes, yes you can. But we'll lose one power grid if we do it this way. I still think that Tiny Tank did the right move. The problem is that we did not do the right move with this person. Um... This is fine. Yeah, we're gonna lose a power grid, unfortunately, no matter which way I looked at this one. That was stupid. Uh, we could have avoided that, I'm pretty sure. We didn't think it through. This guy's still alive, and it was just because we misused Tiny Tank. But you know what? I'll take my two power grid on the chin. Fact remains, we still made it to the final island if we want it. And we got our perfect island. Which means... We can't use that. Two grid power might be handy. Bethany Jones is legitimately just the best one here. Alright, so with Bethany Jones... Plus one mech move, additional shield. Like, all that's very good. Honestly, kind of replaces Quan a little bit. So that starting shield means that even with 5 HP, she's more than capable of tanking nonstop. Then... I could give our science vessel two extra HP with which to tank, which would be not bad. The plus one mech reactor is the only thing that's going to cause this laser mech to be useful. So let's do it this way instead. Plus two mech HP, great. Henry Kwan can now move, fly, do everything. I mean, it's all largely useless on a flying unit, but... I still think it's worth it overall. Um... We can spend some reputation. We need to spend all of our reputation this time. So goodbye Archimedes. Goodbye David Smith. Making ourselves immune to fire might be handy on this last mission, but I'm not sure to what degree. All pilots survive death. It's a little late. We already lost Chen. Rock remains as an obstacle. It's not a bad plan. It gives our laser mech a different option that actually allows us to sink points into that, you know, works to a certain degree. It also blocks shots. Like, it's it's an option. I like it a lot. Um, we got a ton to do. So, yeah, I'll equip it. It's fine. Um, boom, now it's equipped. And now what do I need to do? Well, if I want to do as much damage as possible, I need to get another two reactor cores. That's six. That leaves us with four. I'd also ideally like to have a little bit more additional damage on there. Um, so spend reputation. I meant it when I said it. Double reactor core. We're gonna put both reactor cores in here for the additional damage. Now we actually have a three damage thing from range that doesn't hurt us. If we sacrifice a mech move, we make our guys ally immune again, which is good. Hmm. This is a tough one. I think we need to spend the other four onto grid power. If we're going to be honest here. Like, we're not going to survive otherwise. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. 
Is there any other way that I want to reorganize this? That way Rock Launcher just does what it needs to do. And we can use that extra two to towards something else, maybe? Maybe having a four damage laser will be the trick. I don't know. Two damage rock doesn't shove anything, but it does end up just throwing a rock at somebody for two, which is something. You know, I'd almost rather have the other mech move. Undoing one of them. There we go. And that way we got another reactor to go ahead and put an extra bit of damage into our charge mech. So now it actually does three. So with Tiny Tank on the first turn, we do two. But on subsequent turns, we can do five off the one mech. We can do three or we can do two and block a, a thing, which would be handy, I think, either way we look at it. So either that or we sacrifice both a move and some HP to get some additional damage somewhere. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't like it. do this like if i put henry kwan in here then we don't need the additional move what's the extra reactor he do here just extra hp that actually might be worth it now we're all relatively tanky we all move sort of fast and kwan doesn't need to move much faster than three to move wherever he needs to go but that's what i do here I think that this is the safest way to do things. We're not going to do as much damage. But I think that we do enough damage between Tiny Tank, Burst Beam, potentially Rock Launcher, that this is the best way to do things. Okay. Um, we are not going to necessarily get Glittering Sea Beam to work, unfortunately. Uh, that might be an achievement we have to aim for next time. For now, we got a final mission. We actually have a mission with these guys. It's going for Three Island Victory, which we need. We've gotten two achievements. Oddly enough, and we've gotten to this point in the mi like in the mission, which is like a miracle, really, considering where we started from. Plus, we have two extra like we have two pilots. We started off with Chen Rong dying on the first island, and here we are. We've 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 managed to make it to the end. As far as I'm concerned, this has been a successful turnaround kind of run, even if it hasn't been perfect. So what's gonna happen now? Firefly's going there. He's gonna not attack this turn as a result of that uh because he'll be stuck in water so that's good for us i like to keep it that way ideally speaking we put tiny tank on one of these and we can just shove him out of the way maybe Can't quite do enough damage there, huh? We might have to reset this turn again already. Like, to start off with resetting is not a good time. But I think that there was a better way to do this. Okay. I honestly thought that that was cut and dry, but this guy needs to be dealt with first. Fair enough. Um, we can pull you away using this guy. No problem. We can even, potentially, use our shield to just avoid both instances of damage this turn. Focus on maybe getting out our tiny tank and doing some damage instead. Maybe getting some blocks on the first turn as well. Um, I don't think that's a bad plan. In fact, I very much like that plan. So go ahead. We don't have to worry about those two this turn. These two can go ahead and heck themselves. Move over here, put out a tiny tank. Getting the block. Getting the damage done, breaks the shield, but this works and gets a spawn. Okay, you're badly hurt, this is good. Move out of the way, move here, and then blast for three. It puts him low enough that we can actually deal with him next turn. I like that plan the most. 
Okay, so let's do that. Environment will go off. This guy will be, like, logged in water so he can't actually attack. And by water, I mean lava. So, uh... Eat it. You're on fire to boot, which is nice. You attack, you break the shield. That's fine. You attack, you break the shield. All according to plan. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of things that spawned. Plus, Tiny Tank took a hit. Okay, stay there, Sion. Just stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. I promise you'll love it there. It's great real estate! Ah, damn it. Okay, so... I kind of want to kill the Tiny Tank. I want to kill a lot of things. You need to be dealt with, too. You need to be dealt with as well. You're already dead, which is good. You need to be dealt with. You're a problem. If I was willing to risk it, and I sort of am, I could light myself on fire and then kill this guy by uh, tossing him into a rock. That was not a bad plan, actually. It will take a lot of damage, but I think it'll be worth it. So he's going to take at least one damage. <sighs> to have to use my shield again so soon would make me upset. But I think it'd be doable. I really don't, I really can't afford to lose grid power on this turn either, is the problem. Like, this is not the turn where I can afford to lose grid power. Uh, we can do some damage this way. Gets rid of the Scion, saves us a lot of time and effort and just pain, honestly. If only this guy had, if only we had Whippy Boy, you know? Like, building immunity? That'd be nice. But this, this rock falling here is a pain. Uh, if we move here and just shoot him. What does that do for us? Like, I could sacrifice Tiny Tank here. But I think I feel like Tiny Tank has a lot more to give for us. What can you do? You could pull this guy forward. There's an idea. Okay. Pull him this way. Now he's attacking his own Scion. The Scion will get off his own attack first, but it could be worse. That doesn't leave everybody else a very good chance of doing anything, though. Doesn't matter which one I do, just this way it kind of protects this uh, thing here. Okay, yeah, you know what? We could do that. And then what does Tiny Tank do? Like, the only way this works out in our favor is if Tiny Tank sacrifices himself. Which, again, is, like, not ideal. But I'll do it if I have to. I still think this is a good idea. Gets us to kill him, no problem. Tiny Tank, you've already done lots. But this is the end of the line for you for this round. Which sucks. Unfortunately, we can't quite do what I wanted to do. I think we sit here. I will lob a rock here to protect that spot. Now, I didn't know that you could just lob a rock. That was stupid. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Alright, so, fire damage sucks. Fire damage doesn't matter in that case. I get scioned, he gets scioned, you get scioned. Unfortunately, without Tiny Tank now, you're in a bit of a rough spot because we kind of need you to heal. That should be fine. Goodbye, Tiny Tank. The resist! This game wants us to win. Okay, so without Tiny Tank, we're in a bit of a rougher spot.
but not a bad spot yet. We can pull this guy onto here so that way the environment kills him. Get you over here. Block the spawn and repair so that way there's no more fire there. Honestly, use it here in your repair. Alright, so this Firefly's not going to attack anything. This Scarab goes bye-bye. We only let another two show up. And I'm really hoping Bethany Jones levels up over the course of this last mission. Because that would be a very nice person to bring into our next uh, round of fights. Into our next uh, timeline. Alright, so you're attacking straight ahead. I'd rather you just charge straight into the drink. If that's all the same to you. Get you attack nothing at all, which is fine. Um, your problem. The fact that we don't have like another proper shove is a bit of an issue. We could pull this guy away, which is fine. But then the trick is this guy being able to deal with him. We don't have anybody that moves quite fast enough. So we will take our two grid damage, one way or the other. Or, I didn't think of this for a second, we could shield here, move you here, shove, which keeps us alive and hurts you. And then finally get our friend here to, I don't know, sit and repair. It doesn't matter at that point. But I think that this is by far the easiest thing to do in terms of being able to save all the grid power we can. And moving over here and getting uh, another kill. Just because we can. Makes sense. Alright. Rocks fall on nobody. Nobody dies as a result. That's fine by me. I don't care. Firefly goes out, shoots the power field. Does not you know, bother me. That guy just charges straight into the drink. Now, everything should reset. And I should have access to Tiny Tank one more time. Because all other reuses and everything kind of reset on file. Well, could could the blobber and the digger like swap spots? That'd be great. I kind of want the digger to get cr not crushed. I'd rather have the blobber get crushed. Oh well, this is a problem. Um, the blobber is going to be an issue for us just because it's an alpha. Excuse me, it's going to toss out alpha blobs. That's three damage, and we're in a rough spot. It's not impossible. That's certainly not ideal. So you're attacking here, and you're attacking that. You're attacking nothing important at all. Okay. You are a priority just because you're an ass. I could pull you and just kill you, and that would be the end of it. Then I'd have to deal with you guys. And I don't have an infinite number of resources to do that with, unfortunately. You're going to get a kill there. And then the both of you are attacking this. Like, it's rude. Um, but this blobber does need to go. Like, if we want to make sure that this ends up being a successful mission, sacrificing four power grid to do it, well, two power grid to do it if we do it right, is probably the best way to go. So how do we do this? We could also use Tiny Tank. Don't forget. Tiny Tank is always an option. Tiny Tank is always an option. This is actually a really great time. We do this, and it'll stop the one thing that we need to, you know, deal with. Fine. It attacks nothing. You can go ahead and use this pull then. So now you're dead. Finally, for the sake of just getting rid of this blob, there we go. So we're going to take two power grid damage, but that's it. We also get rid of their blob, which means we don't have to deal with freaking blobbers anymore, which is awesome. And, if all goes according to plan, we get to... Oh, okay, you know, we're still going to... Is it going to resist again? It resisted again! <laughs> okay, great. So now we got tentacles on one of their spawns. That's great. That's that's something that we definitely could have used. Uh, the other spawn will survive. The other three, the other two guys need to just get off the pot, really. 
Uh, if we move over here and blast, it will get a kill on a person that we need to kill. So that's fine by me. Let's go, I'm pretty sure. Then, Tiny Tank, you can't really do anything this turn other than shoot first. Actually, hold on, that, that brings to mind something. The fact that we can just move over here and shoot like so. Tiny Tank then gets to do something this turn, which is awesome. You, I'd like to shove, and that way you go into the drink and light yourself on fire. You. If I'm being honest, and I do like being honest. Um, I think in this case we're going to toss a rock at this dude and kill him. Just put plainly. And you... can block a spawn and might as well put out a shield on well Bethany or the or the pylon I think the pylon's a little bit more of an issue right now so we're gonna go ahead and protect it you get this charge off boom he goes into the drink no problem finally you throw a rock it's dead it doesn't really matter at least that way we got to see that we threw a rock at somebody okay tentacles will come up and wipe out one of the spawns for us which is very very nice they only get one spawn this turn Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Now they only have three units left. Two, like one of which is on fire. And uh, is it low enough HP that we can kill it using a laser? Oh, you are toast. You have no idea how toast you are. Now you, on the other hand, are an issue. Uh, I'm not sure how to deal with you. One way to deal with you would be to just very honestly shield everybody. You can deal with just by shooting you. The other option is I can just shoot you back. Why don't I just do that? You'll die to fire. It doesn't matter either way. If I shoot you with Tiny Tank, you're, you're dead. It does, it does not matter. So, get in there. Um, Tank Man. Yeah, we're going to do this. For sure. We're going to blast him. So he's low enough to actually, you know, be low enough to die next turn. And then, uh, you'll attack that. No power grid lost. We are not gonna lose this. Despite what was an incredibly stressful first island. Tiny Tank Meta has managed to bring us back from the brink. Thank you, Tiny Tank Timmy. Now, there's only one, left, one last thing left to do, and it's, uh, somehow survive all this nonsense. Oh my god. They literally are attacking just buildings. They have made this turn as difficult as possible for us. And I hate it. Um, okay, so what are some easy things we can do this round? Tiny Tank Tim can sit here, tank his shot, and blast him so he doesn't attack. That just did a two for one, and it's the last turn, so I'm fine with it. You... Being honest. And I like being honest. But this tank is not ready to do much this round. The only thing it can do reliably is kill this guy off. Sorry to say. That level up though. Uh, plus one mech move and mech reactor. We have our we have our time traveler for next round. This is awesome. You don't have any more uses on your thing, which is sad. And I can't pull him into the drink this way. Is there any other way we could do this that would be better? I don't think so. Tiny Tank Tim has done exactly what he needs to do. And really, the rest of this just kind of needs to follow suit. You're not going to do any damage. You're going to do a grand total of four damage max. Really, at this point, it's just a matter of survival. Um, even doing this won't stop him from doing the attack, will it? <laughs> this this is a dumb decision. That's an even dumber decision. Um, if only you weren't there. 
Well, unfortunately, this is about as good as it's gonna get for us. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything else. Um, which, admittedly, is, is painful to admit. But we should survive this turn with flying colors. So he'll attack nothing. Tentacles will come up and like literally not do anything for us. We've lost four power, but Tiny Tank Tim literally does the one-shot play that keeps us alive. That was good. We actually got through the... I cannot believe it! That was the worst start we've ever had that we've turned around. Tiny Tank Tim is the best. Tiny Tank Tim is the best. Tiny Tank Tim is the best. I love the Tiny Tank. The Tiny Tank is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> oh my god, I am surprised. We all, we actually only barely survived that. We only barely survived that due to buying Power Grid at the end and like Tiny Tank Tim being a body to toss in the way of attacks two times in a row. And we came out of it with a really good time traveler. It's a shame that Bethany Jones is not Chen wrong. It would have been nice to have Chen for a little bit longer, but that was a good run. I'm very pleased. So next time we're definitely going to be, you know, bringing along Bethany, uh, Bethany Jones. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know with the light up, uh, the light up button down below. And how, what do you mean by light up button? Oh, it's the one that lights up my life, the like button. So go do that. Thank you everybody so much for uh, doing that. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications when these videos go live. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. We're going to be doing some more achievement hunting. Should be a good time.